Hi, Paul with Diode Dynamics, and today we're looking at the installation process for our RGB fog light or DRL kit. The whole installation is quite simple because everything is plug and play. Let's take a look at how everything wires up right on the table first. Included in the kit is the two RGB bulbs with the base size to fit your vehicle, an RGB controller, this may look different, but the connectors and everything will be the same, and a signal wire with the connector again to fit your vehicle. Now you might have a warning canceller if your vehicle requires it. Not all vehicles do, so you might not need it. We'll get into this later. Now the way this wires up is first we have our signal wire and this will plug into your factory bulb socket. This is included based on the size for your vehicle. So this will be a direct fit um, where you unplug the factory bulb. This only needs to be plugged in on one side to get power. Just leave the other side hanging. From there you have your DC connector which will plug into any of our Diode Dynamics RGB controllers. All you have to do is plug that in. Now, whenever you turn on the fog lights or DRL, the RGB controller will get power and turn on. All of our controllers also have four RGB outputs which use this four pin connector on the bulbs. So we'll just plug this directly in. Now if this doesn't work, if they don't turn on, make sure to try to unplug and flip it around. They need to be plugged in in the correct direction. So you'll just plug both of these in and then the bulbs themselves will just fit as a direct replacement for your factory bulb. Now there's plenty of wire here to run one to the opposite side of the vehicle so if you plug this in on the driver's side, whichever is easier, you don't need to do one in specific, but if you plug this on the driver's side, one will stay here at the driver's side, one will go over to the passenger side. You just need to plug in one side. Now some newer vehicles, especially Dodge, Chrysler, and German vehicles, uh, will sense the power being used by your fog light socket. Or they might have an alternating signal, which we can't use with our controller. So we include this warning canceller at no additional charge if we know that your vehicle needs it. And all you do here is take the power from your factory socket, like usual, but then plug it in to the warning canceller first and this is going to regulate the power and give us a nice constant signal that we can then plug into our RGB controller to use. It's as simple as that. To install the RGB fogs on this truck, our first step is going to be to reach up and unplug the factory fog light bulb, put our new bulb into the housing, and then where we unplug the power connector, we're going to plug in our signal wire. So let's do that now. So now we're looking at the back of the fog light. We're first going to unplug the connector and then just remove the bulb by turning counterclockwise and taking it out. We can then install our new RGB fog light bulb directly in its place. It'll just twist in the same way to put it in the socket. And then we're going to take our signal wire and plug it into that factory outlet. Now before plugging anything else in, make sure the polarity of your plug is correct. Make sure the black wire on your vehicle's connector matches the black wire on the signal wire. This might be any color, in this case we have a white wire for the positive, but black for negative should always match the black for negative. Now take the other end of the signal wire and plug it into your RGB controller. Then on the other end of the controller, plug in the wire from your RGB bulb. Now you want to test out the system. If it doesn't work, unplug, flip 180 degrees, and plug it back in. Again, this connector needs to be in the correct direction. Now if you turn it on and it's flickering or pulsing, that means that you'll want to use the included warning canceller if it came with your kit. In that case, unplug the power from the controller and take your warning canceller, plugging that in in line. So we're just going to plug one into our signal and then plug it back into the RGB controller. And that'll regulate power if your vehicle does require it. Again, most vehicles don't need this. We'll again test it out and then just finish by plugging in the bulb on the other side and running the wire to one of our outputs. When you've confirmed that everything's working, just mount the RGB controller in any convenient place using the included zip ties. You can then use your RGB remote to change the color anytime the fog light or DRL is on in your vehicle. If you have any questions about the installation, please don't hesitate to contact us. You can find this product online at diodynamics.com. Thanks for watching.